Hello, welcome to GD exam preparation class. I am your host and instructor, Ruben Herrera. And in this video, we're going to learn how to do operations. We're going to learn how to do addition with decimal numbers. All right, my friends, to do addition with decimal numbers is very easy. All we, we're actually, all we have to do is just perform the addition like we always have, just almost ignoring the decimal period, the decimal period right here. Uh, one of the things that we do have to make sure, however, make sure that we align our numbers. Go, let, let us go back to align our numbers accordingly. This time, not only we're going to align them by the place value, but we are also going to align them by the decimal period. This is actually easier because what we have to make sure is that decimal, these two decimal periods are you know, next to each other. Make sure that this decimal period is on top of this one. And then align the rest of the numbers accordingly. Now, this number that I wrote, this operation right here, this problem that I wrote here is a little bit special. And I did it like this on purposely. Because look, I have some empty spaces right here. It looks like this number is a smaller, but it's really not. It just have less digits than this number right here. So I have two empty spaces in here. And what do we do? What do we do with empty spaces? Yes, that's right. We uh, add zeros to it. Right there. I always like to write zeros on my empty spaces because that makes me feel good. That makes me feel more secure about what I'm doing. Like a little six-year-old. Now I'm going to go ahead and perform or try to solve for my addition the way I always have. Okay? So zero plus eight is equals to eight. And zero plus zero is equals to zero. Five plus zero is equals to five. There is my decimal period. Whoop, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and move it down. Okay? And then 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. And there it is. I'm just solve for my addition with decimal uh, numbers. As you can tell, I pretty much perform it uh, or solve for this problem the exact same way I will do it with the regular addition. Totally, almost totally ignoring the decimal period, but not really. So I'm just move the decimal period when I run into it. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye.